This is a good question. Even I'm working on this. Actually, uh, I'm from China. The Oriental people use a lot of soy. This is really a controversial issue. Uh, it's controversial. It's not because no fact. Just because it, there's no single answer. It could be right. Could be there's no single answer as good or bad. Perhaps I think soy with some other fatal or plant derived estrogens have a similar effect. Which can be bad. How to say it? Can be good or bad depending on a lot of factors. First of all, perhaps the generally accepted concept is if you give a soy, a soy related product like the tofu or soy milk during like a puberty, around the puberty period, this could be pro protective. However, this protective effect could get lost after when you know when the people get uh, growing uh, to adult or decrease, not lost. So uh, still overall, for the daily uh, ordinary amount of soy, perhaps it's a, it's a benefit, it's, a mold, it's by overweight uh, risk. Uh, some, some, however, for breast cancer patients, I mean, what kind of manuscript we want to, um, we want to demonstrate for the breast cancer patient who is ER positive, estrogen receptor positive, and HER2 positive, this subgroup of cancer is very sensitive to soil.